He has the preeminence. What think ye of Jesus? If they're not thinking right about Jesus, it is a spirit of Antichrist. Now listen. We got to be careful with what we allow in our home. <clears throat> not that we need to fear the physical part of it, but it is the spirit that is behind it. You read through the scriptures, there are spirits, spirits that are attracted to pornography. There are spirits that are attracted to the drug trade. There are spirits that are attracted to homosexuality. There are spirits that are attracted to these physical things, and we have to be careful what we allow in our home. If you think you go buy a pornographic movie, you think, well, it's just a physical thing. We ain't doing no harm. You pop it into your home, your home equipment. You set it on play. You don't realize what you have just done. You have allowed the demonic spirits that are in the pornographic trade to come into your house. The very music that you listen to, you have to be careful because there are spirits behind that music. You think it's just an innocent piece of equipment, it's not doing any harm, but it is the spirits that are behind it that we have to be careful about. It is the spirit, the subtle spirit of anti-Christ. Look at the second epistle of John. Listen to what he says in verses 7 through 11 as we close. The second epistle. One chapter. The power. Verse 7. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Well, this is a deceiver and an antichrist. Look to yourselves that ye lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. Whosoever transgresses and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house. He that bid him God speak. But he that bid him God speak is a partaker of his evil deeds. You see, what we have done is we have forgotten that this is a spiritual warfare. This is why we are not successful in these physical battles, even in our community. We keep throwing money at it, trying to fix the problem, and it gets worse and worse and worse because this is a spiritual war that we're in. We allow these things to come into our homes knowing that it is the spirit of Antichrist. This music is speaking against Christ, but yet we listen to it in our home. We know that movie that we watch is making fun of Christ, but we continue to watch it. We listen to things that are anti-Christ. He says, no, don't let that spirit in your house. Don't allow that spirit to come into your house. And even sometimes, as Paul says, the enemy may be those of your own household. Mm, my God. And parents have to be careful. Sometimes the children go out, you got to watch that spirit that comes back into your house. Spirit of anti. Well, Dad and Mom, I want to come back home. <coughs> come on. You come back in here. You need to know something. We worship, we serve, and we live out the Lord Jesus Christ. You come in here, you will go. You will worship, you will support the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he's the head of our lives, he's the head of our family. He's the leader of 
our home, and we, by the grace of God, are attempting to worship him and to serve him. Daddy, Mom, I'm grown now. I'm grown. And I don't feel that I should have to go to church and worship the Lord if I don't want to. Well, since you don't want to go to the house of God, you will no longer stay in the house of the Latin believer. <laughs> See, <laughs> you go on and worship that spirit of Antichrist. Yes. Loving our family, yes. loving our people. Brothers come in, sisters come in, relatives come in. I don't believe that. So go get a hotel. <laughs> You're not bringing the spirit of Antichrist up in here. Amen. We have, we get together 